Hi, my name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this super simple raised planter box. Check out the video. Okay, so the best wood you can pick for a uh, planter project would be cedar or even better Siberian large. Most cases these types of woods are very expensive and actually hard to get and that's one of the reasons for me I'm going with something totally different something that I can actually afford mainly pine Okay, I got it from the sawmill. It's rough sawn dead cheap But it will still serve its purpose first of all I'm just gonna cut out the lengths I need and after that I'm gonna be sorting out the edges and one of the faces of these boards as remember the size that are gonna be facing inwards inside of the pot We don't have to worry about them It doesn't really matter if they are rough sawn and how they look they will be covered and nobody will see them now it all depends what type of wood you've got um, available to you really for a planter you can actually even use pallet wood anything you've got really will be just fine so let's cut these to the right sizes to cut the boards I'm just going to be using my mitre saw but if you don't have access to one you know even a jigsaw will do hand saw will be absolutely fine as well as I mentioned, all my boards are roof sawn, so they will require some additional steps before I can use them for this project. At this stage, the boards I'm cutting to a roof length, so I'm leaving some extra few centimeters for me to trim it down to the correct size uh, later on. Now because of the boards are really rough sawn, the edges are not straight or even at all. So I'm using my jig um, for my table saw and I'm just cleaning up one edge uh, with that jig as you can see. Uh, this is the rough sawn edge and um, after a few seconds I've got a nice and clean straight edge on the other side. And I think it's a very good jig, easy to use. I'm going to drop a link and you can make it yourself. Obviously, uh, you can do some tapers on it, anything like that. But in this case, I'm just cleaning out the edges on my roofs on the boards. And now I can sort out the other edge. Obviously, I've got one clean and straight edge, so that will go against the fence of the saw cutting of the bad one on the table so really nice and quick simple process and thanks to that i can now cut all the bores to the correct lengths now i'm cutting some two by fours i will create a base uh, that will allow me to attach the floor of the whole planter to it and it will give a nice stability to the whole project just giving a slight sand to the faces that will be outside of the planter remember the ones that are going inside you know you don't have to do anything with those they're not going to be visible they will be covered so there's no uh, point of wasting your time in sorting these out however the ones that will be facing outwards we definitely need to sort out now as you can see i'm just putting the frame from the two by fours together i'm using a clamp to hold everything in place and after that i'm pre-drilling and screwing it together remember about the pre-drilling otherwise you may split your boards Now it's time to sort out the sides of the planter. I'm just going to be using a 2x4 to actually connect them together, but as you can see, it's actually shorter than the panel itself, and that is to allow um, for the base that we just put together, okay? So that will go just like so. And again, I'm just pre-drilling some holes and screwing it together. Um, if you want to, you can use some wood glue. However, I um, I want to have the ability to take it apart if, you know, any of the boards will go rotten and anything like that in the future. So uh, I think, you know, just using screws, that will be pretty strong. And as you can see, that's how it looks like. Um, you need, obviously, two panels. 
Now it's time to sort out the front of the planter. Again, same uh, principle, pre-drill a uh, countersink in this occasion as they will be visible outside, so you want a nice finish on it. So I'm just uh, using a countersink bit and driving in the screws to hold everything tightly. And I just repeat the process on the other side and with the rest of the boards. And there you go, one side is ready. So now I will attach the um, the base that we made earlier from the 2x4s. Um, you know, whack it in place, hold it with clamps to make sure everything's nice and square. And again, pre-drill some holes and drive in the screws to hold um, the whole construction together. And now we can just continue with the other side or the front of the planter as before pre-drill countersink and drive in the screws now it's time to sort out the bottom of the planter itself as you can see i'm just using my jigsaw to cut out two notches and that will basically allow um, the board to fit around the two by four supports that we've got inside of the planter and it will be a nice fit like so um, so yeah as you can see it just goes in like that however what I did as well with the base with the bottom here I have left a gap in between those boards in the middle as you can see and that is to allow the drainage of the whole planter and with the boards in place I'm just going to pre-drill um, some holes and drive in the screws so they are firmly attached to the base as this planter is just over a meter long, I want to add some extra support in the middle of the board at the front, uh, just in case, you know, they don't bow or anything like that. So I'm just adding a um, piece of wood to hold everything together with some screws and that will add some stability to the planter and to the sides, making sure there's no issues in the future. I'm cutting a 2x4 to 4 pieces now and these will act as feet uh, for the whole planter. Basically it will lift the planter off the floor by about the thickness of the 2x4 and that will add some greater stability to the planter plus it will add that really cool look to it that it floats in the air slightly and um, so yeah I think that definitely adds it to this planter and makes it look really really cool. Now it's time to uh, make a frame for the top of the planter. I'm using a false half lap joint here, guys. So I'm using eight pieces that overlap each other and that will give you the uh, the look of a <laughs> half lap joint. I think it's a nice and simple way of uh, doing a frame uh, for the top of the planter and it really looks quite nice. Now it's time to attach the uh, top frame. Uh, I just pre-drilled the four corners, driving some screws and it will be absolutely fine. That will give you the ability to hide the foil inside so you won't see those nasty edges from the foil or the lining that you will be installing inside of the planter. So I think it's a quite nice feature there and it actually goes inside of the planter and is flush to the outside body. And there you go, guys, a simple planter. Um, you know, you can make it out of anything, out of any scraps you've got. Inside, plenty of room for whatever you want to plant. Plus, we've got the drainage in the middle of the planter. So when you actually put your uh, lining inside, some sort of a foil, anything like that, make sure to put some holes in the middle where that um, uh, channel is running and then the drainage for the whole planter is sorted for you. Now I'm going to leave it as is. Normally you would actually apply some sort of a finish on it to protect it from the outer elements. However, this planter is made for my brother and all the whole specs for it 
were supplied by my brother. That's exactly what he wanted. Um, hopefully I will <laughs> ask him later on when he applies the finish and the plant is in its place to make some photos for me and then I'll share it with you how it actually looks like in the end. I should have a cut list for this planter if you want exact dimensions of this one. Um, hopefully by the middle of next week uh, the cut list will be available for you. I will post it on my social medias. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss the cut list for this project. However, also you can visit my uh, Facebook page, my Instagram account and Twitter. The links to all of these are down below in the description of this video. So I encourage you to check those out as I do post some pictures over there and obviously short videos as well. So there's always something interesting to see there as well. I really do like the look of the floating um, planter as you can't really see the feet over there you know it, it really adds that interesting look to it but for today guys that's it thank you very much for watching thank you for your time take care